This is the bike of Max Steadman, a rider for the UCI Continental Team Canyon DHB Sun God. And this is the bike he's going to be using for his second attempt at breaking the World Everest attempt. With a little help from Max, we're going to run through all the cool details on this bike, measure it, weigh it, and the all important free hub sound check. Sitting at the top of Canyon's range is the CFR, which stands for Canyon Factory Racing. It's been developed with the help of our expert Swiss side, and it has a claim weight of frame and forks of 1,752 grams. Although this one is probably a tiny bit lighter because it's an extra small. Paired to the frame are these unreleased Hunt carbon wheels. The rims are hookless, tubeless, and 32 millimeters deep. They use carbon spokes and weigh in at 1,200 grams a pair, which makes them quite possibly the lightest tubeless disc wheels in the world. Fitted to the wheels are Pirelli P0 TLR tires. Max has opted for the SL, super lightweight version, in 28 mm width. The reason behind this choice is that he felt this was the right balance of weight, rolling resistance and puncture protection for the event. He's also using 50 grams of latex sealant in each tire. The rotors are 140 mm Shimano D-Race front and rear. Max is using the Shimano Altegra R8000 disc DI2 group set and is the same he has used throughout the road race season. He's also removed the front neck to help produce weight. At the center of the bike, we've got the Rotor Aldu chain set. He's running 165 millimeter cranks with a 34 tooth one by aero chain ring. Max has also opted for an aero chain ring cover on this too. This gives Max a low enough gear ratio for his planned pace. This is an area he suffered in last time when he found himself over geared for the later stages of the event. He has also chosen to use the Kogel Colossus OSPW on his Altegra rear neck. A controversial choice in some people's eye, but in theory, it should save him a few extra watts. The chain is D-Race and has been ultrasonically treated by Muckoff using their ludicrous AF chain loop. Another small watt saving, but over the duration of the event, it could help. Up on the front of the bike, we've got Canyon's one-piece aero bar and stem. This is the previous model that most Canyon supported teams have been using this year. And as such, Max is using the forks from the Aero CF SLX. The stem is 90 millimeters long and the bars are 38 centimeters wide. Holding his Wahoo head unit is the Canyon out front mount. You also notice that Max has got a little sticker on his stem here and these have got the lap times he needs to beat the world record, the sub seven hours and the British record. You'll also notice that Max has taken the bottle cages off this bike as he plans to take a bottle or a sip every time he's at the bottom of the climb. And by removing them, he's saving just a tiny bit extra weight, which all adds up. The seat post is proprietary to the frame and is a familiar aero shape that we see a lot of manufacturers using. Tasked with the challenge of keeping Max comfy during such a long and horrid event is the Cell Italia C59 saddle. This uses full carbon construction, no padding at all. The saddle weighs just 61 grams and has a large central cutout. You can also see that Max has positioned his saddle as far forward as possible to get his position just right. Interestingly though, he has angled the nose of the saddle very slightly down to account for the fact he will be spending most of the time on a 15% gradient. And finishing the bike off, Max is using the Wahoo Speedplate Nano pedals. These are the ones with a titanium axle and weigh in at just 168 grams a pair. Right, let's get to some of the measurements. Max is 167 centimeters tall and weighs in at 53 kilograms and he's riding a size extra small. So Max's saddle height is 69 centimetres. He's got a setback of three centimetres. From the tip of the saddle to the handlebars is 39 centimetres. And then he's got a drop from the saddle to the bars of eight and a half centimetres. And onto the all important weight of the bike. It comes in at 6.7 kg. Now time for the all important free hub sound check. Ooh, nice. Okay, Max, chat to me about the gear choice on the bike, because I imagine that took quite a time to think of what gears you wanted. Yeah, so last time, I mean, 
I only I just use a standard 3632, which was just way too big for how steep this climb is. Um, so this time I've gone with a mountain bike XTR cassette on the back, which was 1140, but I've turned it into an eight speed and put some spacers in the rear and put some spacers in front of it as well and just locked off the mech um, just because you get speed up so quickly that I only really needed a 17 maximum just to get the legs turning and then I'd be on my way um, basically and I've just used a little uh, mech extender there to um, to just pull the mech down a little bit so it can actually get onto the 40 uh, as a normal normal derailleur can't um, so yeah, that was kind of my thinking behind the gearing and I'm just a standard sort of 34 on the front, uh, one by, no need for a big ring here. So it's ideal to be honest. And then the data on your Wahoo element, what, e what, what do you want to see? In so a, in elevation gain, account? obviously, uh, cause that's kind of why we're doing it. Want to see how far I've climbed. Uh, and I also had, so at the top I lap it every time I hit the lap button and that's the screen I'm looking at the most. So it's got my lap time, my current lap time, my previous lap time, so I know where I'm sort of sitting at, my lap power, lap cadence, and current heart rate, just to see if I'm staying within the right sort of zones and effort and not exerting myself too much. Uh, so that was kind of what I was looking at most of the time. And then I just have a, a sort of averages pages where I've got like TSS, normalized power, intensity factor, amount of kilojoules that I'm burning, average power as well. And then I've just got normal workout data, which today I just wanted like a screen with no power or anything, just ride time, current time and distance on. Quite quite a bit of data there. Yeah, I, I like mean, that. it's a long old event, so it's nice to have some stuff to play <laughs> through. So that's the bike covered, but what about other aspects of Max's record attempt? Well, the climb he'll be using is Crocom Hill, and according to Kamut, it's 1.1 kilometers long, has an average gradient of 15%, with parts as steep as 25%. And there is a link in our description below, should you feel the desire to try and climb it yourself. I certainly do not. So there we have it, the Everest and bike of Max Steadman. I hope you found this video interesting and let me know what you thought of the bike down in the comments section below. And make sure to check out the full documentary on Everest and how Max got on in his record attempt over on GCN Plus.